versus Supermassive, two of the favorites in Group B, a stacked group this is. G2 Esports are, of course, the four-time EULCS champions who dominated in 2016 and 2017, but we have a new lineup in front of us with G2 Esports this year. No more than a Missy, we've got Yarnan and Wadid in the bottom lane, Wonder and Yankos as the addition to Superstar Perks. So, they have to go through the regional qualifiers, not as dominant in 2018 as they had been before. What are we expecting out of G2 here? Every single time, Vedius, and here we are loading up into game two of the day. G2 Esports, third seed from Europe, going up against the TCL's first seed. Right That's into the pause. Win their decision, but they focus up on the Baron. 5k getting lower. Yankos yet to burn that flash. They're zoning him out with the Zillion. I don't think Yankos can make his way into that pit. That one's going to be in the favor of Super Massive. Lane two to continue extending this advantage. Massive, massive lead for Super Massive. May just be able to walk this one down. It is a last stand here from the side of G2. Axide needs uncontested hitting, but Seth Hap is gonna find the knockup. Side not now moving forward. Knockback comes through. Stonemage getting taken off. First of all, we have to watch five minutes, I think, since Korea from 10 to 15 minutes. We get all top yeah. first, we go top, we get shot at 20% for no reason. A bad trade. We go back to base. There are two guys coming in top. We don't open your mouth, we go bot for Drake. We don't take it because you can take care So we don't we, we take top, we get top power for free. They will take a fight, but I can't want to catch the wave. We don't talk again, we go into the uh, 45 in the mid. Then they get the head take yeah. out. It doesn't matter what chance we have there. We pay the chip. <laughs> G2 absolutely got destroyed by Supermassive, and I think we have to take a look at how exactly that happened. So Raz and myself wanted to take a look at exactly how they could mediate what they did in game one and see how they should get into this game. There's actually no defined meta, just what everybody, every team for itself defines, right? So. It's perfectly reasonable for one team to have success, let's say, with an example, Timo, and say Timo is meta for us. But then a different region or a different team just seems completely different. In those side lanes, to getting oh. shut down should be an exciting matchup. I cannot wait to see what happens. We're already on to the rift. We don't even have to wait any longer. It's Ascension Gaming versus G2 Esports. He's burning so fast, already down to 5,000 health. They might have to go for the fight here. My eyes on Nixor on the back side of the fight. Yankos is already over. Smite's coming down up for the gun. Help, that's gonna be G2's Baron. And the damage onto Nixor is huge. They need the Airy Cade. Airy Cade to stay alive and he's in the back side of the fight. He's got hits on the Wonder, but they're losing members left and right on the side of Ascension. G2 now strangles them out at Baron and takes the objective for them. G2 Esports take down Ascension Gaming. I just want to point out your Baron steal on Camille towards the end of the game because at that point it looked like the game was almost out of your hands. So tell me about that moment and how you guys were able to come back. Mm, I mean, I think the Nash call from them was not. I mean, it was pretty good because they kind of knew that we all have to base and uh, they can do it kind of fast with their comp, especially with Casio. So I think it was like kind of lucky from us that we did make it in time. But I think the fight. Uh, even though I got the Nash, I think the fight would not be in their favor. So maybe we would still get a lot of kills, even though they got the Nash. It's a cake or something. It's a cake. Oh. 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 You, should, right you should get the first one. I should? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is easy, no? Yeah, this is... Oh, that's really disgusting. I appreciate it. No, I, I, could, I could take four. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's clever. Yeah, that's really yeah. Clever. yeah. yeah. <laughs> A 
have the third seed from the EU LCS G2 Esports who want to avoid entering knockouts as the second seed at all costs. If they want to get the first seed, they have to win versus Supermassive, win versus Ascension, and if Supermassive win versus Ascension, win versus Supermassive again. And Mark, it is so important for them to try and avoid the first seed. I think I'm looking at Perks to step up a little bit more. I think he has been one of the better performing members on G2 thus far, but he is this team's star in my eyes. First thing they got to do, just be confident that your early game last time was very strong. That's a base that you can work off of. I think even though I heavily criticize Yankos, his early games are still incredibly strong. So if it's just going to be through 2v2's mid, it should be a success. I actually have them coming out with a victory for this first game. Uh, the question is, can they pull it off a second time round versus G2? Well, if not the end of the world, but not the best. It's between ulti and mid. GBM going to be pulled back by that shockwave. They're looking to go all the way underneath the turret. Looking to find this one. GBM taken very low and first blood over to now. The game is done. G2 find their revenge for the first day. They'll find their revenge against Super Massive. And they'll go up two and one here in this group. Plays. We're gonna throw the kitchen sink at them one more time. We're gonna staunch them off some waves and we're gonna start some brawls and just see what happens. Give me that fear beyond death, but the flash is beautifully timed. Yarn though with a follow up. The X does get laid down and they're, now they're trying to retreat. Cannot afford to get taken down by Red Sharn though, just cleaning up the rest of the team. Perks is gonna live. A beautiful stop on that ultimate coming through and G4 wants something, but he doesn't get it. Oregon, you just do not get to play League of Legends, but he pushes that R button. Yankos gonna bring in another kill as well. Double in the end. This is it. G2 moving up to 3 1 in the group, contesting for first place. Imagine the, um, the general meta as a box, and then but the teams decide if they want to be in the top, or the left, or the right, and the bottom, somewhere outside a bit. Like that's something teams have to see for themselves. So it's always easy from outside to say, okay, this draft is bad, but no team instant draft, right? They they have certain reasons why they pick something. Yankos has been doing really well on both uh, Talia and Olaf. Any high tempo jungler he can get his hands on should be enough for him to take control. So much on the line for this one. Can G2 still clinch first seed or will Supermassive go into the knockout round as the best team in the group? Now spawn the final game of the day, the final game of the play in group stage. Here we go, G2 versus Supermassive. Fat nice, movement, they know that GBM is late to the play. And Fat Fat feels like he'll go for that push. Now trying to dash to safety, Perks to disdain, not quite going to connect, trying to pull him back, trying to bring him under the tower, Perks hit for Zaynon, he wants to reset it, he wants to delete that Ash, and he's going to get it! Easy clean outs for G2, the massive gold lead, insurmountable for Supermassive, and G2 Esports will take first seed in their group.